Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here, and I got some bad news for you. We are going to see rain on Halloween. The system that was moving in tomorrow continues to slow down just enough that it puts the threat for showers and yes, even th some thunderstorms in that time frame where trick-or-treating is going to happen. So it's a very narrow window. If it speeds up or slows down even a little bit here the next 24 hours, it could change the timing. But I'm a little more concerned about the threat that we're going to see some storms, not just some rain, possibly during the evening hours. Probably not severe, but just some heavy downpours and certainly going to be some cloud to ground lightning with it. So here's our system. You can see it back to the west. It's a pretty uh, pretty stacked system, we call it. Basically, the upper level system and the surface lower back here to the west. This is the cold front, kind of this occluded front as well that you see um, ahead of it. So this system is basically tracking in this direction, but this cold front is going to move through in the worst possible time because the front will be here right about there, right during trick-or-treating time. So you could not ask for probably worse timing with all of this. So I'm going to go right to our future cast here. So I'm going to start this today. We'll go into the future a little bit. Today, you're going to see drizzle mist clouds, kind of like what we saw yesterday. Um, we'll go into uh, Monday morning. I'm going to stop this right around sunrise, 7 a.m. We'll have some showers and yes, even some thunderstorms moving into the mountains. As we go into the afternoon hours, here comes that line of storms around 12 to 1 to 2. And look at four, five, six o'clock. So right there, it's so close. So if you look at the time right above my head here, that's three o'clock. Um, this is where probably the front is somewhere in here. OK, if this is around three o'clock, hopefully it pushes east and it's gone by the time trick or treating stops. But it's such a close call that I think we're going to have some scattered storms sitting somewhere around that four, five, six, seven o'clock time frame. And then look at another little cluster arrives around eight, nine. So the front itself is somewhere in that time frame. Even if the leading edge of it gets here around three or four, it takes a while to move through. And you see the scattered storms that move through between eight and nine. So it's not a complete wash. It's not going to rain the whole time. The problem is these are scattered. If they do develop, they're going to be heavy and they're going to have some cloud to ground lightning. I'll show you the hour by hour rainfall forecast here. And I always like looking at this because it kind of shows you I'm going to stop this right here. I'm going to move my head down here for a second. You could see, you know, tomorrow morning, the scattered chance, but right around 4 to 10 p.m., we see a little spike there where the rain chances jump up to scatter to probable. So I'm hoping that, you know, there'll be some breaks in here. It's not going to rain this whole time that you'll get a chance to get the kiddos out there and get them and just be watching the radar and uh, the weather carefully when you're out and about that you don't get caught in a downpour. Bring the umbrella with you just in case as well. Um, and you're probably not going to want to be stuck way out away from the house somewhere. Um, so just kind of plan your routes accordingly and have somewhere to go in case we see these this weather move in. So I'll quickly show you my forecast right now. This is kind of my thinking for tomorrow. Probably a 40 to 50 percent chance of showers. And again, some thunderstorms. Temperatures will be in the 60s tomorrow evening um, as this moves through. So one of the things I've been watching uh, carefully is the lightning threat. And I'm going to show you real quickly here. This is the lightning probabilities um, as we go into tomorrow. I'm going to stop this right around 6, 7, 8 o'clock. And you can see right there, I'm going to move my head up a little bit more. Might be hard to tell, but this is the this is the probability of seeing lightning um, with these. So in, in the entire column, it's called. So I'm going to stop this again right about here. Stop it right there. So this is basically around seven to eight o'clock. You could see, especially Union County, a little uptick in lightning. Not huge. I mean, from a, thun a, a summer thunderstorm stand up, that's not a lot. But I just want you to be aware that that potential is there. That there could be some cloud to ground lightning in there. I'll be keeping an eye on the track of this as we go through time. I keep looking at the updated guidance on the timing of this. It's all going to be about where this line of showers and thunderstorms is. Um, I'm going to stop this real quickly and show you another uh, forecast guidance, kind of a model I look at with short range rapid refresh to kind of show you where it's moving. So this is another look at our kind of our future cast, but this is the short range rapid refresh. And I'll show you again. I'm going to go through time. We'll go through tonight. We'll get to tomorrow morning. We'll go into the afternoon hours. I'll zoom in on the Carolinas. So you can see early in the day, we're certainly going to have showers and thunderstorms to our west. I'll stop this right around 4 or 5 o'clock. This is my concern here. So this is 4 o'clock. You can see this, the storms are out there. They're much more scattered here, but they're heavy. Um, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. There's some breaks, though. Um, but if you're in here, especially in the mountains and foothills, you're probably going to have a better chance of seeing these storms during tr prime trick or treating time. That cluster to the south will be moving northeast, and that's kind of what moves over us around 8, 9 o'clock 
tomorrow. So you see that eight, nine o'clock time frame. That's some pretty heavy rain moving through. So bad news here is there's going to be scattered showers and storms during trick or treating. So plan accordingly. It won't rain the entire time, but when it is going to be raining, it's going to be heavy and they're going to be thunderstorms. So just have a plan to like get out, trick or treat, get to shelter, maybe do it early, later based on the radar trends. And of course, I'll post updates tomorrow during the day on the timing of all this, but it really will be about watching the radar before you head out of the house to go trick or treating on Halloween.